Good day, YouTube. I was going to say good morning or good evening or good afternoon, but who knows what time you're tuning in, right? Anyway, uh, update on the 68 Camaro. Uh, we're moving along. Things are starting to fall in place. Nothing is easy. Everything takes time with this stuff. The firewall has been cut out. The top of the cow has been cut out. I have the trunk fitting better. Uh, the quarter panels are actually mounted to the bottom. I'll show you, not the bottom, but the cocktail shakers are actually, uh, that gap has been closed. Uh, the floor is tacked in uh, three quarters of the way. I have to crawl under this thing. It's, it's not easy um, to do, but uh, I did it. And uh, on to show you what I did so far. Alrighty, so uh, the cocktail shaker mounts flush now. They were gapped before. I didn't have to move them yet, so that's all good. They'll they'll weld in fine. But here is the space I was working in. It's not very much. Thank God I'm kind of like a skinny guy. I actually had to cut this so I could fit. I almost got stuck under there. But these aren't really doing much. Four pan is sitting on top of them. I could bolt the pan down tight, but I didn't have to because it's fitting tight. The top cow replacement part is just sitting on there. Can't really do anything just yet because, surprise. Yeah, what do you have guessed it? There's more rust. Again, the front and back half of this car was in pretty bad shape. Uh, the other side's not horrible. I could fix this. Here, I'm going to definitely have to fix that there. Um, but that's my little update on the Camaro. So I have to get that A pillar on the driver's side. That's going to be another $300, three and a quarter. And it really sucks because I only need the top part. I mean, I could hand make this stuff and put it in there, but then here, right here, uh, I'm not going to be able to hand make that, get that perfect. So I hope the uh, replacement part is in the same gauge. Luckily, the center support is in bad shape. I thought it was going to be gone. It's a little crusty around the lip. It's, it's still usable. I'll probably end up getting this media blasted too. We'll see. I like to have that inside of the dash media blasted and the other side. There is some surface rust under the paint starting. So I'm going to look into that. That would mean I have to have a, a guy come to me, which is probably going to cost more money. Cha-ching! Anyway, thank you for checking in on my update. Not much going on here today. Uh, I guess there'll be a little bit of a break until I get the other part and figure out if I'm going to sandblast this thing or not. Take care and have a great day.